Well, welcome everybody. I am Kim Evans. I'm the proud owner of Two Gorgeous Integrated Health and Wellness, as well I am a holistic health and wellness coach and success business coach, and also the owner of KME Coaching Online. I have a private spa, which is located in the um, East Bay, Lafayette, California, of 25 years where I actually bring clinical skincare, facials, therapeutic massage to women and men alike, making them look absolutely amazing. My online practice, I help to take women solo entrepreneurs, create their gifts, take their gifts from the marketplace to the bank and creating signature programs uh, for them so that they can grow their online business past six figures. So that is what I do. So welcome, welcome, welcome to my podcast show tonight. And what I wanted to talk about this evening, Paradigms of Consciousness, um, Claiming Back Your Personal Power. So let's get right to it. You know, it's very interesting when we think about um, paradigm shifts. Oh my gosh. But before that, as a holistic health educator, I actually was looking back at some of my prior work and some of my papers that I did like 13 years ago when I was working on my master's degree and I've had them all in this binder. I remember when I was working on that particular degree, my dean at that time, Ms. Michelle, Michelle Chase, and I never forget when I walked into her office, she says, you're gonna have a binder and I want you to keep all of your papers that you're going to write as it, as it relates to you know, your degree, holistic health and changing and nutrition and diet and consciousness. And it was, it was such an integrative um, practice therapy degree. It was just amazing. And I knew that I was going to be able to help to push humanity forward, to really get into the depths of issues that was holding women back with their health, their mindset, their fitness, their nutrition. So anywho, all my papers, I had them stored in this beautiful binder. So I was going through some of the subjects that I had wrote on 13 years ago. And I came across this one paper, which I thought was really interesting, Paradise of Consciousness. So basically what we're gonna title this is Paradigm Shift, Claiming Back Your Personal Power. And what would that look like if you was to create that as we actually are entering into the last quarter of the year and the most heightened season energetically, uh, speaking that people can go either way, positive or negative. You know, they can feel very fulfilled or they can feel very, very low. And I want to leave you with some tips on how you can basically declare and claim your personal power back as we enter into the holidays. Will you allow me to do that? So let's begin. So let's talk about what creates a paradigm and, and really what is a paradigm shift. And so I'm going to read a little bit from this paper that I wrote. I thought it was just really um, transformative. One integral perspective in looking at paradigms is that paradigms help us to understand the explanations of the evolving universe. And we all know that it's fluid and dynamic which we rely on the recognition of evolutionary domains of nature, self, and culture. So, you know, paradigm shifts is really interesting. It's kind of sort of, can they be measured or not? Not fully, they can't be measured. It's just based on your thought process, where you are in your consciousness. So what makes a paradigm shift the emergence of new concepts? Well, I remember I was also doing this training program with my executive coach, Dr. Cindy Trim. And I'll never forget, she said that, Paradigm shifts are birthed out of crises. When you experience a crisis in your life, it's an awakening of a choice. You either do A, you either do B. You either you do up level or you stay where you are. So when you have a crisis in your life, you're at that point faced with a paradigm shift. You have to make a decision to do something. It's always like a knowledge of more quest that's going to get you to that next level of satisfaction or resolve, right? So how we create that practice depends on our social practices, our social cultural injunctions, which type of subjects and objects appear, our cultural environment, our community, people who surround us, our friends, our family, all that plays a part. 
So let's look at paradigm shifts. So let's look at how we can integrate a healthy balance of living with mind, body, nature, and spirit. So I wrote this paper 13 years ago, which, which was wonderful. And so my paradigm shift, actually what I called it was the land of the beautiful. So let's pretend if a paradigm shift looked like this and the land of the beautiful. And then we're going to actually get to the conclusion of what I'm trying to present to you. So the land of the beautiful would look like this. Environmental protection that every other livestock, rainforest, national parks and deserts, safe schools and beautiful, clean air, non-polluted blue oceans, that we would always have that. It would never be a problem. In the land of the beautiful, that every way of living is sustainable because there's no debt. There's no worry. We wouldn't have worry in the land of the beautiful. So I'm bringing you into something. What would that land of the beautiful look like if you created your own paradigm shift? So the land of the beautiful, that we would have great support for building strong communities, entire villages. Remember back in the day, it took a village to raise a child. But in the land of the beautiful, everybody would partake in raising children neighbors and friends and families. And maybe if that was the case, we wouldn't have all the raids that we have in high schools today, right? We would have a safer environment for our kids, elementary, secondary, post-secondary, the where kids can go to school and they can feel comfortable and they don't have to take clear backpacks and do kind of like terrorist drills, okay? And the land of the beautiful, that everyone would support one another. They would help one another. They would build strong communities. In the land of the beautiful, if we had this type of paradigm shift. Now follow me here. And I'm reading this from my paper. The land of the beautiful law states that you can quit your job anytime until you find the one you love. Wouldn't it be wonderful if we were freely able so when you go to your employer and you're there for a season of time and you're just like, you know what? I think I'm going to quit today. This is no longer working for me. It is not in my alignment or my integrity or my values. As we know that servant leadership is on the rise, feminine energy is on the rise in corporations. Wouldn't that be wonderful if that, if you can just freely move to different kinds of companies and so that you can find your place of where you actually need to be. Wouldn't that be wonderful in the land of the beautiful? In the land of the beautiful, everyone would be required to learn three foreign languages and to travel globally at least once a year. And I wrote this in my paper. It was just amazing. It's like, you know, that would be great. I think they should have a requirement for high school students, a requirement that everyone must learn three languages. Remember the love languages? Italian and French, remember back then and Spanish, they're not even making it a requirement anymore in high schools. Credits will automatically occur in your flex spending plan and that will go towards paying out of the country travel expenses. So if you've worked for, you know, if Google added that, you know, flex spending, they do have a flex spending plan, by the way, they have a really good one. But if they added more points so that, you know, hey, at the end of the year, everybody could take vacation and, you know, it goes towards your travel because they're going to give you that time off and they don't give you a hard time for in the land of the beautiful, it, everybody would have a social healing plan and you would have the best health insurance and you wouldn't have to worry about pre-existing conditions. And that's what the Obamacare was about, to take away the pre-existing conditions, right? Wouldn't that be fantastic? Oh my God, in the land of the beautiful, there would be no depression would ever exist. We wouldn't need Prozac of all these different kinds of pharmaceutical drugs that sometimes your doctors are trying to recommend maybe every now and then. In the land of the beautiful, there would be no reality TV shows, no negative news, that everything would be positive and helping you to go to that next level of your best. That's a paradigm shift, right? It will be no electronic devices or X-rated MTV. I did put MTV back then, but you know, we mean video kinds of, you know, channels that are on now, video shows and the land of the beautiful. The only thoughts that would exist would be beautiful, kind, 
uplifting thoughts. Broadcasts that exist on the TV are for wealth building, for the spirit, for the mind, for the health, and for the body, and how to build your wealth. And couples, how to make your couple's relationships stronger with better communication. There will be no Democrats or Republicans. Wouldn't that be nice? The parties wouldn't exist. Everything would be wise men or wise women. Wouldn't that be nice? I want to vote for wise men or wise women. Everyone would have compassion for other forms of their own life meeting. No, no endangered species. We would always be looking out for the other person. That's in the land of the beautiful. And lastly, the land of the beautiful, the greatest paradigm that exists, that we would be all one. All one, all one, all mind, all body, all spirit with the nature of the earth, that the goddess mother earth is the living, breathing paradigm, organized uh, organism, and everyone places high value on her sustaining the entire universe. That we will reverence nature, especially when we're in those off-balance situations and situations and we're not feeling well. And so we just go have a walk with nature. We will be more in alignment, more in atonement right where god would be always at the center and we were more heart-centered than mind-centered in the land of the beautiful imagine if if visually we created the land of the beautiful were true and that we could live in the present consciousness of integrated mind body wealth and healing and if we did that we would have a soul connection every single day what a better world that this would build so let's create the land of the beautiful. So I wrote actually this paper 13 years ago and I pulled it out and I just wanted to share that with you. It's like, oh my God, what a hoot. And I got an excellent, an excellent rating on that from my professor at the time. So I just wanted to bring that back to you to say, how are you building your land of the beautiful this holiday season? And that you have the power to create your own paradigm shift. It's about what you want and how you want to live. So what paradigm shift are you making for the last quarter of the year of 2021? You can continue living like you're living, getting results that you're getting, or you can shift and you can get different results. But you know what's so beautiful? The power is yours and you can decree and you can declare and claim back your personal power. So Bob Proctor, actually, if you haven't listened to him, you should listen to some of his um, courses on YouTube, it's fantastic. And he's really is bringing that level of, of subconscious into the conscious mind when it comes to creating wealth building. And one of the things that I love that he shares is that you have the power to create whatever you want in your world. When it comes to wealth, that money comes to you and you believe that money comes to you, that it comes to you from different areas at different times and different places. And it's just so beautiful and that it's always evolving and it's an energetic flow. It's just a money is just a form of energy and you can call forth that energy to you at any time, as long as you can believe it to be so. And so if you go back and you listen to some of his broadcast, just amazing. So I won't get too much into it, but you can look at the name, Bob Proctor, totally amazing. We can look at um, uh, Cardone. And I love the way that um, Cardone talks about, Brent Cardone talks about 10 x in your life. That's a paradigm shift. 10 extra your life in your relationships, 10 extra your life in your business, 10 extra your life when it comes to your build, uh, wealth consciousness. I actually got one of his programs. I actually read his book on uh, 10 xing It's just amazing. And then I wanted to end with Brendan Burchard. Excellent, excellent. Brendan Burchard is the number one New York Times bestselling author. And I love this book that he talks about the uh, motivational manifesto. So if you haven't read the motivational manifesto and it's nine declarations to claim your personal power, what are you waiting for? And I remember an article that I read that Will Smith had actually read this book here, the, uh, the Motivational Manifesto. Actually, I'm going to put it in the show notes for you. And I believed after him reading that book is how he and his wife created his film project, um, actually company. So anyway, I'm going to leave you with a couple of things in the context of this book, um, the nine declarations. As we go into the holiday season, 
I wanted to inspire and to encourage all of you that you have the power to change and to create your own paradigm shift. I was listening, actually not listening, I was on a conversation with one of my family members earlier today and she was sharing with me that she was just so ready to travel. She's just so ready to get out of her bubble and out of her circle. And I said, all you have to do is just step over to the next side and just do it. And if you want to travel for the holidays, then so be it. Then make that up in your mind to do that. And we had such a beautiful uh, conversation. It's like, yeah, I can't. Yeah, you do. You have the power to do that. So if that's what you want to do, then do it. You know, we've been cooped up in our homes for like 15 months last year due to this thing called this COVID pandemic. And it's time to rise above that and shift to a new paradigm shift. So let's get right to it. The Motivational Manifesto, nine declarations to claim back your personal power. And I'm going to share this from Brendan Broussard's book. And he talks about that we shall meet life with full presence and power. There's nine declarations. And we are all one, all knowing, because we are children of God. And so if we stay in tune with him, if we stay in tune with him, then if absolutely we are always going to be in full presence and all knowing and all power because we're connected to the plumb line. The second one, we shall reclaim our agenda. So in this holiday season, I want to leave you with, what is your agenda for claiming back your personal power? Do you have an agenda? Then write it down. And I back it three back five. I always quote it all the time. Make it plain. See the vision. See the vision. Make it plain. Write it down. Do not tarry or worry because it's going to come to pass. But before that, you have to have the faith that it's going to come to pass. The third one, that we shall defeat our demons. I love that. You have the power to do that. God gives you the power to do that, to defeat your demons. Don't let me get preaching in here because I definitely would do that. But you have the power to pull down those strongholds that exalt itself against the not the power principalities of what's in the heaven realms, which is manifested in the earth realm. So you have the power to do that. God has given us the keys of the kingdom to do that, right? Okay, for my faith believers, we shall advance with abandon. I love that when he talks about that. That is wonderful. We shall practice joy and gratitude. Brendan Bouchard is always talking about that. <sighs> but I've made that my model too. So when you're at a crisis, when you're at a place and you're in a dark space and how you get yourself out of a dark space, one of the things that you do is acknowledge where you are, acknowledge the feeling. Can it be changed? And if you have control over it, and if you can't just, so be it. And then if you don't have control over it, then you ask yourself, what did you need to learn from that situation? And what do you need to do differently? And how do you move forward from that? And how do you move forward from that is that you begin to be grateful and thankful for where you are. Even if it's a messed up situation, be grateful for that because it's not happening to you. It's happening for you, around you. It's happening because it, you need to get from one point to the next. People are like, oh, well, it's me. It's happening to you. Well, it's kind of happening for your good. So you can navigate around, above, underneath, or through that particular situation. So when you begin to give joy and praise to that and gratitude, just be thankful. Be thankful, give it gratitude, and stay in a joyful vibration, not at a negative vibration. So we shall not break integrity. All right, in the land of the beautiful, you don't break integrity. And this is how you claim your power back. And sometimes when in the law, the, the, the actually breaking of the integrity goes back to the 20, 21 universal laws. You can Google that. There's 20, 21 universal laws. And I know a lot of you guys know maybe of one of the laws, which was um, the movie that had came out. But there's 21 universal laws. Go back and study it. And one of them, the law of oneness, um, the law of integrity. So when you are out of alignment with what your truth is or your core values, then you are out 
of alignment of your personal integrity. And maybe that might be why you're not getting the results that you want because you're falling out of integrity. So get back into integrity. Be clear what your core values are and don't sway to the left and don't sway to the right of that. We shall amplify love. I think God gives us, that's the greatest command is to hear and we get into love, love thy neighbor, right? Like yourself. It's the greatest expression in our essence that God has given us. And that is to love. I know it's hard to love unconditionally. I know it's hard to forgive, but it is a strength and it's a beautiful characteristic to have. And if you can practice that, you claim back your personal power. All right, let's get to the next one. We shall inspire greatness. You were born to be great. You were born to win. You are all winners. We are all winners. And we are all great. So this holiday season, pick it up and be great and win in every area of your life. Decree and declare that. Okay. And lastly, we shall slow down time. And that is being present in the moment and not always rushing to the next. So when you have a goal and you achieve that goal, lots of times just sit with the result and celebrate it, savor it like a good steak. Okay, non-beef eaters, like a good salad. My vegetarians, like a good arugula salad with some dandelion on top, sprinkled with a little bit of olive oil and sesame and, you know, ginger, like that. You want to savor the moment. Just journal, sit there, celebrate, bask in it. And be thankful and grateful and just sit right there in that. Because then you're not rushing the time. You know that breaks the telomeres. You got telomeres in here. And you know, when you're rushing in, you're always in the life of future. You shouldn't be in a life of future. It breaks your telomeres. You need this. This is for longevity of life. Google it. But when you stay in the presence, you lengthen these telomeres here in the hypothalamus gland. So you always want to be in the present moment, not always moving to the future. And this is why God is a now God. He's not no future, no past. He forgives your sins from the past. But is it now? So we shall slow time. And that's how you slow time. In gratitude and thankfulness. And celebrate your accomplishments in the present. So I'll go back to them real quickly. So meeting life with full presence and power reclaiming our agenda, defeating our demons, advance with abandon, shall practice joy and gratitude, shall not break integrity, that goes against 21 laws, shall amplify love, which is the first command, this is the greatest essence of expression that every human being has. We shall inspire greatness within ourselves and within others, right? Women and men, kings and queens, princesses and prince and we shall slow down time and these are the nine declarations to claim back your personal power i recommend all of you to go out and get this book it's wonderful the manifesto the motivational manifesto and this is by brendan richard i have had a pleasure in sharing these nuggets with you again i am kim evans and i am the podcaster of inspired conversations the founder of the look good feel great program kme coaching online and I am the owner, solo entrepreneur, woman-owned, Black-owned, African-American-owned, two gorgeous integrated health and wellness of over 25 years, where I actually help women look amazing, ageless at any age through facials and massage therapy. But more so that I'm known for now is my online coaching. And I just want to encourage anyone who is looking to get from A to B and you actually want to expand your online practice business, solo women entrepreneurs for the holidays. Let me help you take your gifts from the marketplace to the bank, because that is something that I can help you to do very, very well. So I'm going to leave my calendar link below and I would love 
for us to have a conversation. I have a, I offer a complimentary strategy call with you and then we can go from there. All right. So I'm going to leave that in the show notes. All of you, you guys, let me get my blessing. I am just thanking you so much. I thank God for this show, for giving me the voice, because without him, I'm nothing. And I pray that all of you, the listeners, the viewers, as far as the East, the West, the North, and the South, may you be transpired, uplifted, and motivated. May you take one nugget or two or caveat that you can actually, you can implement it into your life or into your daily practice, and that they can move you forward to your next level of greatness. And we just want to just thank God for this show, for giving me the vision of Inspired Conversations. Thank you very much. Please share the show out. It has been a pleasure. And again, this is Kim Evans and bye for now. Wow, this has been great. I have been loving on all of you today. So thank you very much. It's been great and have a good morning or a great evening or great afternoon wherever you are in the world. And this is Kim Evans. Bye for now.